Hey guys, welcome back to Trek Yards. He's Commander Cox. He's got a voting. And uh, yeah, we are here to talk today about Picard, Season 2, Episode 5, Fly Me to the Moon, but more specifically, Adam Soon and Corey Soon. Yeah, the Soon clan, clan has been d diversified, embraced. We knew he was coming back. We've, we've met him, his daughter, and same actress as, as many a time. That's now the fourth Sung-esque person, third, fourth that the, the lady's played. Yeah, it was a lot of the episode, a whole subplot. Q got involved, which means it's going to be very important. Q, at the end, gave a solution maybe, and then will generate uh, to, to get something in return done. So it's going to be pretty essential. And we know how obsessive Sung's are. We've met many of them. So... You know, this is the next part of our plan. Is it part of the same time changingness? You know, we, we already know that a version of Q, are uh, that quantifier here based on our previous debate, a version of Q is is talking to the new or the, the lady Picard to try and change her mind, and a different Picard to want to, a different version of Q maybe is talking to Sung. So it's all getting a bit confusing. What do you think, Stuart, of the of the Sung off in this episode? So much Sung. Um I'm kind of zoomed out, honestly. Um, but that being said, I do like seeing Brent back. But to have Soji come back as as Corey soon, which has this genetic problem, she's basically a vampire. Um, and I I don't know. Um, and as we kind of talked about in our review, yes, the soon from the future, I forget his name. I think he, when he created the Soji and Daj and uh, the, the Sutra, that they're based on like this great 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 ancestor lady um which was important to the soon name because it got them in the business of genetics and then they then later cybernetics so i mean i thought it was interesting to tie her in that way but at the same time i was surprised to see her because this is the same episode don't forget that we're getting laris not laris which again is like these actors are all on the payroll they contracted we need to have them here somehow I think the storyline's interesting, but I gotta see where it goes. I think Brent did, Brent did a good performance, though. He he didn't feel like Data at all. <laughs> Despite or any of the other Soons, really. He felt like a dad. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I said to you, there never been a Soong with a genuine daughter. There's been Arik with the Augments, as if they're his children, but they weren't. And then we've never seen a true son or daughter, so that's, that's yeah, a whole different side to the Brent Sung. Now I'm interested. Yeah, it, it's it's a fun, gentle retcon to say this is the because you've got to think the devotion to the timeline still happened, but changed the past. So a lot of the stuff's grain of salt because if you know, uh, if the twentieth century stuff didn't happen, then you couldn't avoid Jewish, which you couldn't have had. You can have Chrono Works, which sped up technology. So a lot of the stuff here, it's like, well, would he have had a, you know, probably would have had the same daughter, but then there's so many other time travel things. So everything's grain of salt in an alternate universe if it's connected or not but at least from now on it's all going to be relevant because anything q does will change and that's you know deleted by the timeline reset so but if this is how his daughter looked then you know who was the first song that liked genetics i think i can totally buy it being someone who got into genetics to help his own daughter and became, that's why i became obsessive and that obsessiveness was just part of the the sun condition i'm sure the daughter then sort of felt that obsessiveness and kept it going and obviously she, she had a son and a son and a son and a son and daughter and you know well i guess always daughters to create new sons because clearly it's a single line so it must be daughters with the son but then yeah uh, i did joke to you actually that wouldn't it be funny again it doesn't work now because the cues change the timeline so there is this is not ever going to be canon but it'd be funny if sung did actually give this like a side effect of the procedure to, to save her makes her makes part of her genetic Material to create all the boys in the family will look like, or at least somewhat, somewhat look like Brent Spiner. Yeah, it's probably some of his DNA that needs to go in there or something to complete it to make it stable. Yeah, and that'd that, be interesting. Yeah, you know, a geneticist making genetic, genetic that that's fine. But like I said, that's erased by the timeline resets. So they can't do that, but it'd be funny if they did. Let's keep in mind too. This is Adam Soon. This is the same guy we see in uh, the mm. second episode, yep. uh, the statue. Adam Soon, where he's got holding the globe. And you hear his voice booming about a you know safe universe as a human, which is so subtle in that they never reference it again, but it's there. And I I had assumed it was the current Sung, also called Adam, because we didn't know this guy's name was Adam. So that's a huge deal. 
because if Q is actively trying to make this guy affect the life of the Picard, and this son clearly believes there's the entire scene about him saying all humanity, you know, it would be wrong of me to not get all humanity to be better. And so if, if through X, Y, and Z changes, he's then instrumental in either affecting the Earth by its own free will or not, you know, poison drinking water with augment virus DNA, which remember, can't already happened. So the, the augment virus is already out there. The DNA is, that exists, it's how it already happened. And so maybe he, you know, laces the water with augment virus, infects all of LA, you know, millions of people, that, and, and it, it makes it more subtle, and then the humans get more advanced overnight those then start a more tyrannical reign and then that causes the future that we see and adam's hailed as a as a wow you did it because without your making us all better we could never have conquered the stars so there's a there's a really interesting x y connection there and there could be yeah there could be a connection to to the uh the sensitive to uv because like i said the, the the earth we see in the future the confederate future has those shielding and i, I noticed the drones he had protecting Corey from the, the UV of the sun were very similar um, in their visual effects. Could just be a coincidence, but it, it seemed pretty blatant in my mind. So, yeah, maybe they're. Oh, maybe he. Maybe he creates the mirror universe too. That's why they're all sensitive to light. Because don't you know they're all sensitive to light? Wait that, a minute, no, they're not. That, that one time. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, discovery! Hey, broken cannon. So, anyways, yeah. No, I, when I saw that. Especially in the trailers, I saw it as Tholian tech. I assumed something cool, and I felt like it's kind of a a cheat a bit because we also kind of assumed that tech in the future would be based on Tholian tech in some way because it's so connected visual wise. But now it's in twenty twenty four, which seems way too advanced for to have energy fields. UV, like, especially if you haven't got the future changes in the timeline. This is this is this is without transparent aluminum, without any of that stuff. This is almost our Earth, and we are certainly, haven't gonna, aren't certainly not going to have that in 2024. Without the timeline changes that make it the Trek universe, it becomes far close to our universe, etc., etc. So it's a bit of a, eh. But, you know, they're playing both sides of the fence there, and they're not succeeding necessarily. But now, once he said that, it's like, oh, actually, yes. Now, the way Q told us that that shield was a protect, well, to keep the ozone in because we burned it so much. But if it is a double whammy of, yes, we, we sold, you know, we use the DNA of you know, I made my daughter a better augment, and she side she side made everyone susceptible. That's interesting. And then you know we kept the kept this kept the clouds in because you know maybe they poisoned the earth even more because they couldn't fix the genetic problem. You know, and then we had to keep the ozone in with the other stuff. So yeah, definitely some visual ties. And they've obviously got a long play here, and it feels like a long play stuff. But uh, he did a good job. He did a good job considering. I think. I mean, a lot of just him in a suit, and it doesn't feel very trekky because obviously it's not. It's just a guy. In a, it's just Brent Spiner in a suit. But when they sort of had those like nice nuggets of where it links to, that was certainly interesting. And now, as he basically says, he's got, you know Q's got him by the balls. You, you know, because he, he he'll do anything for that cure. Makes me wonder too if Adam Singh's still alive in the future. Like if this some some kind of uh, life prolonging thing that works on his daughter, so he uses it on himself. Because it's, or the statue is just a monument to this guy, which is in the past, which I could buy as well. But anyway, um, lots of questions, lots of questions asked. Hopefully, we'll get answers. But it was an interesting little spin-off uh, that we got going on here, and it'll be see, interesting to see how Q plays into it all, and what's going on with the Q thing as well. So, we'll see. It's definitely a, a, a moving to what could be a phenomenal. Is going to happen, or or not so much? What can I say? What can I say? Hmm. Well, guys, it's that time for you guys to put your comments in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think about the Zoom connection. Anything you have on your mind, uh, theory-wise, let us know. And please join us for lives where we can discuss all this stuff in real time as well. Um, you can do that by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell icon. Also, don't forget to um, hit the like button before you leave the video. We'd really appreciate it because it really helps us out. And support us if you can directly, which we appreciate as well, via PayPal, Patreon, joining the YouTube channel via YouTube, or any Super Chats on any live, just saying hi, putting a great comment in, or saying here's 20, buy yourselves a, a dinner, a very cheap dinner, you know, both of us, etc. All appreciated. That's right. So, until next time, when we see you again soon, I had to get that joke in there, that pun in there sometime. Um, I'm Captain Foley. I am Comic Congress. Bye, guys.